Stop paying for expensive tools like Midjourney and Doll E for image creation. I found a brilliant free alternative for you. Tensor Art AI. It allows you to choose from different models to achieve various artistic styles, from photorealistic to anime. It also has built-in character consistency, allowing you to generate a particular character in different poses and backgrounds, so you can use the images to create a story or as a narrator character for your videos. As for the features and how to use it, I am going to cover it all and share a sample I generated using prompt generated by ChatGPT. Let's begin with the tutorial. Open Tensor.ai and Sijin to generate 100 free images daily and run and remix their pre-existing community prompts online. Once you sign up, notice the several tabs available in a vertical arrangement on the left-hand side. You can go through those, there are AI tools available to check out, and generated models are available in the Models tab. The library is vast to explore. It also has some events going on, as well as a leaderboard, so it feels more like a community driven by creators. Well, moving forward, let's try generating an image. As for the prompt, I asked ChatGPT to write me a well-structured prompt for a boy skating. This is the prompt I will be using. A young Asian boy, around 12 years old, with short black hair and bright green eyes, is mid-air doing a kickflip on his skateboard. He's wearing a red helmet, a blue graphic t-shirt, ripped jeans, and black sneakers. He's in a concrete skate park with graffiti murals on the walls in the background. The afternoon sun is casting long shadows and the sky is a clear blue with a few fluffy white clouds. It is good to be detailed with your prompt and try covering all aspects of the image, going from character features to character pose and the weather and background. So I now just click the blue colored create button. It took me to a page where I will be mentioning all the details. First, there was the prompt column which I filled with the chat GPT prompt I created. Then there was the negative prompt column where you basically fill in what you do not want. You can also write about errors AI can make, like I wrote extra limbs and bad proportions. Then it has options available regarding the models, which I skipped for now, though they can be useful as there was an option to add low RA, which basically is for specialized model specifications and style, so you can be particular about your desires. You may also add Control Net, which uses a reference image to create more accurate results. It is well worth using if you have good references available which are clear and of high quality. You can also add embeddings. There is the option of VAE which you can experiment with and see how it produces different color performance of the image. I let it be at automatic for my testing. Then, you select the aspect ratio, which I set as portrait. You can also opt for landscape or square, or a custom size. There is an option to fill in for the sampling method, which will yield different results for the same prompt. This is because different options will have different approaches to refining images from the prompt. You can experiment with it. The sampling steps option basically is for the number of steps AI uses to refine your prompt image generation. However, note that higher sampling steps burn through credits faster. There is the CFG scale that you set, which refers to how much you want your generated image to adhere to the prompt. I let it be at 7. Then there is the seed column, which will generate you the same image for the same number you input, given that all other parameters are the same. You can put this to use if you have generated a good, clear image. You can turn on upscale to generate higher detailed image. You can use layer diffusion to generate transparent background image and the detailer reduces face collapse and hand deformities in generated image. Again, credits are used, the higher the quality you go for. There are even more advanced settings, which you can opt to dig in once you get a grasp of the other settings. I realize it all sounds very technical but having so many features is a big plus. Just don't get overwhelmed and have fun experimenting. Okay, so now that the details have been filled, you click on generate. It takes a few seconds, though it can be minutes, depending on the prompt and other input parameters. In terms of generation speed, it would be somewhere around a three out of five. In my case, my prompt was fairly simple, 
and it generated the image fast. Let me go about the image it generated. First of all, the quality was great. Even though I did not upscale it, it was a clear image. Also, the detailing and the realism, as you may say, were impressive. I believe this AI tool can surely be used for content creation. The image produced was bright and fairly relevant to my prompt. I also wanted to check about character consistency, so I slightly changed my prompt and generated it again. This time I only asked for the character to be doing a cartwheel instead of skateboarding. I know this posture is much more complex, but that's why I gave this prompt. The image it generated was still good, though with errors I expected. First of all, the limbs were deformed. Secondly, there was disproportion in terms of length of limbs. Still, the character consistency was clearly there. This can be put to various uses, like creating story videos, etc. So, to give an opinion from an AI enthusiast's perspective, I will rate the image generation of Tensor AI to be 4.2 out of 5. It is seriously impressive being a free software. I can even compare it to paid AI tools. Now, before we wrap this up, I have some useful tips for you. Try setting sampling method to DPM++ to mKeras IMO. It is overall great for a general choice. You can set the sampling steps to 30. It is a good midpoint as it also does not burn much credits. You can avoid very complex poses, like the cartwheel prompt I gave, though I am not saying Tensor won't be able to generate it. It is still tough for AI image generators to be highly accurate with them. You can try selecting the model coloring page diffusion. It is great for creating high-quality coloring pages, which can be used on platforms like Etsy. One thing to note is sometimes tensor art can take ages to generate an image. So if you're stuck like that, you can also try another alternative called cart.ai. Well, that's it for today. Guys, if you found the video useful, do subscribe for more such useful AI tutorials. Cheers.